guys, if you like to study computer science, you might wonder what subject you have to learn. In this video, I'd like to show you my class schedule for all of the four years of my computer science bachelor degree. And I also like to show you what subject do I have to take to get my computer science degree. Hi, Editor Mercy is here. I just like to say that in this video, I won't tell all of my subjects in details. I will say some words of some of those subjects, but I wasn't sure how much you're interested in this topic. Although, if you want to know more details or you're interested in one specific subject, I am willing to do another video of those. So let me know in the comment section what you're interested in. Let's get back to the video. Basically, the first year is all about fundamentals, mostly math fundamentals. I had three different math classes, analysis, linear algebra and discrete mathematics. Plus, I had a refresher course in math because I messed up at the placement test. For me, the first one, the analysis, was the hardest. This subject is all about abstract thinking and learning theorems and definitions and difficult equations. And at the end of my first year, I did a comprehensive exam of those three math subjects. Besides math, I had physics, coding and engineering related subjects and a bunch of other subjects for the credits. As I said in my previous video, you don't necessarily have to know how to code before you go to computer science major, but it's definitely not a disadvantage if you already know some coding. I did my last video on this very topic, so if you want to know whether you have to know coding before you go to computer science major or not, definitely check out this video right here. For coding, I had Introduction to Programming 1 and 2. Those were in C++ and I also learned MATLAB programming. In my second year, my new math subjects were built on the fundamentals I had learned in the first year. I had probability, statics and stochastic processes. I had another physics class and I had some other engineering related classes like digital signal processing, digital systems and computer architectures and electrical networks. Besides these, I had some biology related courses as well because back then I wanted to specialize in more biology related fields. If you already heard some interesting information from this video or just enjoy watching it, don't forget to leave a like or a comment down below and subscribe to this channel because it helps the algorithm and it helps other who are also interested in this type of content to find this channel to find this kind of videos so thank you guys and now let's go back to my third year at university i finally can start to learn data structures and algorithms which was kind of an other c++ course but it was so much better because i i finally understand what's going on on the lesson and then i also learned java and methods and languages of programming which was about different programming languages and how they differ and how they analog i had neural networks as well where i had to code in python and we learned the basics of neural networks and the one that followed digital signal processing was information encoding theory where we can learn the background of encryption. In the first semester of my fourth year I was focusing on my internship. You might know that I did my internship in mobile application development because that was the but besides the internship, I still had some lessons at school like operating system and computer control system, which was basically a math course again. So right now I'm in my last semester at my bachelor degree and I still have some courses, but I only have two lessons. Um, artificial intelligence and cryptography. Besides that, I have to take an under comprehensive exam and I have to write my thesis. But after all this, I will hopefully get my bachelor degree. I hope you get the general idea about what subjects a computer science student has to study. If you're interested more about this kind of topics like um, 
computer science student life or um, coding in general, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you find this video interesting or you find some interesting information in this video, don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment down below. I'm really interested in what computer science related topics are you interested in? And yeah, thank you so much. That was the video for today. I hope you liked it and see you in my next video.